Hey guys, Katie Huller here with KidsCanReadAndWrite.com. Are you ready for the news today? Let's get started. All right, today, how do we spell two? And it's at the beginning of a sentence, don't forget. Capital T-O. Two, da-A. Make sure when you're doing your does that daddy's face comes first and then you put the ladder for him to climb up and work on the roof. To the A, what says A only at the end of a word? A-Y. Today is, start with your I, is, what day is it today? Yesterday was Wednesday, so let's sing our song and see what day it would be today. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So it's Thursday today. And what does Thursday begin with? A capital letter, yes, but which one? Capital, what says th, 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 So we're gonna put that capital T and then we're going to put our H. That's what says th in Thursday. Now, we need an er, the er. Do you know which er it is? It's not our usual er one. In Thursday and Saturday, it's the ur one. So we're gonna put ur, which also says er. Thur, so there's our second trick. Thurs, put our snake. Thurs, duh, a, duh. Remember, daddy's face first for those d's. Then put the ladder. And what says A at the end of a word? A-Y. That's our next trick. So we have one, two, three tricks in that word. Today is Thursday, comma. Now let's see what month it is. Do you remember? Last month was April, uh, but we've been in this month for a little bit now. Let's see if we go through the song, if you can remember. January, February, March, and April. What comes next? May and June and July. August, September, October, November, December. So did you hear what came after April? Sorry for my horrible singing. That's just the way it is. Today is Thursday. It was May that came after April. After my favorite month, April comes May. So we're gonna start with a what? Capital M, good. And what says A at the end of a word? A-Y. Make sure you're only using that A-Y at the end of words. Not when you hear A in the middle, but at the end of a word. It might come at the end of a syllable from time to time, but mostly at the end of words. All right, yesterday was the 13th. So what would today be? What comes after 13? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All right, one and a four is 14. Today is Thursday, May 14th, comma, what year is it? 20, two zeros, 20, and then 20, again, 2020, period. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. All right, what's my news today? Oh, I have some news. Today, one of my students came to see me and returned some books to me. So that was really special because I've been doing everything um, online and I haven't seen any of my students in forever. So it was really fun to get to see him. So I'm gonna say, um, since I just said today is Thursday, I'm just gonna say I, or no, I'm gonna say one of my students came to see me today. So one, how do we spell that tricky word one, meaning one thing or one person, do you know? Well, we have to start with a capital, and it's a capital O, and then it's N-E. The number word one is spelled own. Own, it looks crazy, right? But that's a number for the, that's a word for the number word one. So, one of. Of is another kind of tricky word you kind of have to learn. Do you know how to spell it? It's not U-V, it's O and then an F. It looks like off, but off would have another F. 
So of just has one F, off would have two. One of m I m. I want to come, I want to come. Who says that? The Y ending, good job. One of my students. We have a lot of tricky words today. Students is spelled like stud ends. Students, you're a student, right? You're a student. So it's spelled st, we're gonna start with our snakes. St, and then student, it sounds like ooh, but it's not. It's st you, st you'd. Daddy's face first, then the latter. Stud, eh, n, t. So if we just had one, it'd be a student. When we want to make it more than one, we add that S, students. This is called a plural word because it means more than one student. One of my students, cut aim. What's the cut at the beginning of a word? It's usually a C unless the next letter is an E, I, or Y. Let's see if we're okay keeping it a C. Cut A. Is that an E? No. Is it an I? No. Is it a Y? No. So we're good with our C. If it had been an E, I, or Y, we would have had to change it to a K, but it's not, so we're good. Cut aim. What makes an A say its name? We need that sleepy E. It's gonna boss him. Say your name, Val. One of my students came to Ta'u, T N O, Ma I, just like before, Ma. And then the I want to come, which is that Y, to my huh house, huh. Ow! Who says ow? Who pinches? O pinches you, remember? So O you. House. Now it sounds like we're at the end, but remember, we're not allowed to end a word with S unless it's like students and means more than one, or if it means like happening now. But house is just one house. So we're not allowed to end with an S or we'll think it's plural when it's not. So do you know a very quiet letter that doesn't say anything? An E, a sleepy E. He'll usually try to boss the closest vowel, but he can't boss O and U. So he just goes to sleep. So that's how you spell house. One of my students came to my house um, to, to, T and O, to Bara Ing. Ba, we're gonna put baseball bat first for buzz. Ba, ra, and what says ing? I, N, and G. See if I can sneak that in. To bring, one of my students came to my house to bring ba, ak, ba, a, and what's the k after a short vowel? That's gonna be your CK. To bring back um, some, su um is some. Remember, if you do su um, S U M, that's the, um, that's when you add two numbers together, you get the answer. The sum is the answer, S U M. We want the other kind of sum, like some people or some books, like a few of or several of. So some like that is some, su. Um. So when you write some, make sure you're spelling it like that. Okay, to bring back some of, do you remember how to spell of? O, F, good. Of, my, I, do you remember how to spell my? M and the Y, good. My books. I'm gonna start over here, B. Book, who says book? Remember those two O's, they get punched? Who's punching them? Listen carefully. Ook. K -k -k. It's that bully K. So we're gonna put the two O's looking through their binoculars and then put that bully K punching them. That's why we hear that ook. See, can you tell that's still a K? Book. Some of my book, now we're gonna make it plural, right? It's not just one book, you brought back several books. So I'm gonna add the S right there, period. Okay, one of my students came to my house to bring back some of my books. All right, now I'm gonna say, let's get the blue marker. 
It was so good to see him. So I'm going to say it. What should I start with? Capital I. It. Hear that? It was as was. Wa. As. It was. It was. So. So. Good. Go. Good. Do you hear that? Oh, again, like we had in book. That's at two O's, but they're getting punched by someone else this time. Listen carefully. Go. Good. What do you hear? It's the D. And remember, Daddy's face goes first for those D's. It was so good to, which is T and the O, to. C, and remember the word C? You want the eyeballs in it. So we're gonna do the, the eyeballs that look like this, right? I could put like, like that. It was so good to see. I could put, see? That's how you spell C. It was so good to see him, huh? Eh, hmm, period. All right, so there we go. And here are some of the books that he brought back. So he had read The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which is a really fun book. He also was reading Bad Guys. Um, it's a really fun series. If you uh, are looking for a fun series, a lot of the kids are enjoying this. It has a lot of pictures, has good fun stories inside. So a lot of the kids are enjoying this series. And then also another really fun um, series is the Fly Guy books. Lots of fun Fly Guy books. And they're, you know, they have really cute pictures and not a whole lot of text, which is kind of fun sometimes. Um, so if you're just learning how to read and you want some good beginner books, try the Fly Guy books. If As long as you know your tricks, they should be really fun to read. So a lot of fun books he brought back to me today. So I'll put these over there. All right, let's read it the slow way and the fast way. The A la E, daily news, daily news. Today is the Thursday, Thursday, May, May 14th, 2020. Fast way. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. All right, slow way. This crazy word, it looks like own, right? If we boss that O around, own. But remember, own is one. One of my, my, st, ud, and students ka, aim, came to, u, to, my, I, my, ha, house, house, to u to bra ing bring ba ak back sa om som remember som is some of i my ba books books all right fast way one of my students came to my house to bring back some of my books. All right, slow way. It was, as was, so, so, good, good, to, 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 see, see, ha, him, him. Fast way. It was so good to see him. All right, fast way the whole way. See if you can stick with me. Make sure you're looking from left to right and not just trying to remember it, but actually that you're reading it. So make sure you're going left to right and watch for tricks. Daily news. Today is Thursday, May 14th, 2020. One of my students came to my house to bring back some of my books. It was so good to see him. And it was. 
And I hope you're um, able to have some good books at home with you to read and uh, to enjoy because books can be just so much fun. If you don't have books at home, you might be able to join an online library or something like that so that you can check out some new books to read. Also, there are some websites where you can go where actors are reading books to kids, and that's a really fun way to hear some books too. So whatever way you're reading books, I hope you figure it out, and I hope you have a great time and enjoy some new stories. And maybe after reading some new stories, you might get inspired to write some of your own. It's very easy to write things. You just put your ideas on the paper or on the whiteboard as I'm doing, and voila, a little story is made. So have a great day, keep reading, keep writing, and I hope to see you back tomorrow. Like, comment, and share so I know who's learning with me. Talk to you later, bye.